Hey everyone, Bobby Convertible here. This week's project, we're gonna install a fuel injection system on this Corvette. Let's jump right into it. All right, here's the new hardware that's gonna go in for the fuel injection conversion. First thing we're gonna to have to do is switch out the center unit for the fuel tank. This is a new upgraded combination unit for fuel injection. It's got a high pressure uh, sending unit. We'll meet the requirements for Fuel injection, it also has the return line built in, so we did not have to create another return line from the front of the car. This will go in in place of the original. It's exact fit. Gonna have a little bit of different wiring. It will work with the factory gauges. We'll just have to cut these off and splice it into the into the new or to the existing harness. Here's the the big boy of the kit of the upgrade here. It's the, the Holly fuel injection system. Won't get into it too much here. You can watch plenty of videos from Holly or other people online, lots of documentation, but basically this is a bolt-on replacement for your carburetor. This throttle body system goes on in exact same same way a carburetor would. It's got your linkage, your fuel lines. It's even got a pressure regulator up there if you want to use it, but we are going to use the, the built-in one there for that, for the pump. Also has an O2 sensor connection, so we'll get actual feedback from the exhaust to change the air fuel ratio on the fly. There is a little screen here and some other things. We'll get into that later when that's all set up and you can actually do some kind of adjustment, customization, and programming. Cool, sorry, let's, let's get this in there and then we'll get this in there. All right, first things first. Let's remove the spare tire and tire holder. This is pretty straightforward, about eight bolts total. Mine was missing two at the rear of the holder. Once the assembly is out of the way, we have clear access to the fuel tank and lines allowing us to proceed. Alright, here we are with the spare tire removed and we can get access to the gas tank. Going to go ahead and swap this out with the new fuel pump and sender combo unit. It's got the proper pressure for the fuel injection system as well as a return line built in already so I don't have to install a second fuel line going back to the tank. All I have to do is pop out the old sender after draining the tank, remove the old section of fuel line going to the metal line, and then we can install the new unit. This is pretty straightforward from here. There are a few hose clips to remove and then disconnecting the hose to drain the tank. I don't have a ton of fuel in the tank, so this should be quick, but as is always the case, it can get a bit messy. I have a giant fan in the background moving fresh air in to avoid inhaling too many fumes. While the tank drains, I've gone ahead and cleaned up some of the not so great wire connections from the stock harness. The metal fuel line that runs to the engine bay goes through the frame. There is a clamp just out of view here that's worth removing to make your life a bit easier. When you install the new hose, make sure it's pressure rated for fuel injection and you use the appropriate clamps as well to avoid leaks and complications.
With the tank trained, we can remove the retaining ring from the sender. There are three locking points that you can use a drive on, or in my case an old dull chisel with some tape on the edge to tap them loose. Work your way around all three contacts to release the ring. Prior to installing the new unit, let's get some tape on the edge of the hole to avoid tearing the white hydromat filter at the end of the sender. Additionally, there is a piece of the unit you will have to remove by unscrewing two screws, the only screws on the unit, to allow it to fit through the hole. Once you get the unit into the tank up to that point, you can then screw the piece back on. Then work the gasket up and over the base of the sender so it can be secured in place. At this point, I am ready to secure the retaining ring in place. Unfortunately, I did not film this to the end. This was very difficult and took me quite a long time as I did not have the correct tool at my disposal. I highly recommend saving yourself the pain and suffering and get the fuel tank lock ring tool, which seems widely available online for about $20. At this point, everything is complete with upgrading the fuel tank with the exception of the wiring. In the next video, we will start the install of the sniper unit on the engine and running the wiring from the fuel sender up to the front. See you on the other side.